What's up, guys? I am here to bring you a woods loot guide. Um, this is after the recent loot buff, and I just thought this was a good time to make this video. I've been wanting to do it for a little while, and now's a great time. So let's get into it. All right, so with where we spawned, um, obviously we've got north. Uh, we got the east side of the map to go extract at. Uh, I'm going to start by hitting... We're just going to sprint over here. We are going to hit short stop. And then we're going to hit checkpoint. And we're going to make a big loop around the whole map. So right now we are on the west side by outskirts. And we're going to run to short stop here. Maybe might actually run into somebody on the way. We shall see. So this is what I call short stop. It's got a food spawn right here. Sugar, that type of stuff can be found there. Nothing really good in here right now. But usually there's you know, silencers, uh, all sorts of good stuff there. Now we're going to head off to a uh, checkpoint where a violet keycard spawn is. I'm probably not going to be hitting bags and jackets just to try to keep this video short. But we will, uh, you know, probably hit some here and there because I can't help myself at times. I've been getting like uh, 35k rubles, morphines, uh, just all sorts of stuff off of them. So this is a violet spawn right here. There's some filing cabinets in here you can hit if you need your USB drives, stuff like that. Now we're going to see if Sturman is here. Uh, my take on Sturman, he's loot. He's, he's easy to kill. I don't know what that was. A little teabag thing, but hey, it's all good. We don't, we don't judge him. Who knows what he was doing behind that rock, right? Uh, we don't... He's so easy to kill, and I'm going to show you exactly how I go about killing him. There's a stash right here. Oh, nice. I forgot ammo. I'm going to have to make my shots count against these scavs. So I usually go up here first. And first place I look is that log pile. Sometimes he's just sitting there. Next place I look is right here because a guard sometimes just sits there and that'll tell you if Sturman is here or not. Um, not seeing anything, so we're going to push to the most common place that I find him, which is what I call Double Tree. Double Tree is two trees side by side right here in front of us. And he's not here either. So I don't think that he's here. We're going to keep moving on. Uh, so yeah, super easy way to kill Sturman is if he's at the logs, kill him from up there. Um, if he's not at the logs, next place to check is here. And you can use these bushes and trees as cover. And he won't look at you or shoot you normally. <clears throat> so we're heading to USEC camp. We're heading north. I usually like to perch out right here. To look at you set camp i haven't heard anything i don't think anyone's over there but it's always just good to good to be careful so first thing we're going to do is go up on this rock up on top of this rock is a raider m4 spawn uh, it's an M4 that, like, the, the Raiders use. So that can spawn up here. Weapon parts, bunch of ammo. So you go this way. And we're just going to start right here. There's a bunch of crates. Um, USEC armor spawns there. Gold chains spawn right there. Weapon parts here. Uh, weapon parts right here. Sugar spawns here. Sugar spawns here. 
armor spawns inside here. Um, the, another raider M4 can spawn right here. And then more food spawns over here. Food and meds. And of course you got all these crates all over the place. Kind of striking out a little bit chat. You found moonshine in their rocket. Nice. So this side's kind of similar. It's got its, uh, its weapons table. Um, another weapons table over here, like weapons parts. More crates. Food spawn in here, right here, and right here. This spot is real nice. Um, I find moonshine, sugars here. Meds, uh, med equipment. So, now we are at, uh, scav tower. And food spawns here. There's a sugar. Um, just, you gotta kind of look all over here. Uh, fuel spawns here. Right here. And you just kind of got to look everywhere in this in this spot. There's stuff on shelves. Um, and then down here, there's hex spawns. Food spawns. Um, under this cot, chains can spawn. Stuff like that. I don't know if uh, bitcoins can spawn there because I haven't found one yet. But... All sorts of stuff spawns over here. All right, we're gonna head off to Scav Bunker or Scav uh, Scav Camp. I think this one's called. More food spawn here and in here. We got sugar. So that's two sugars. I found seven sugars on this map in one raid. There's three sugars. And I just saw a gold chain over there. Gold chain right there. This guy didn't die? Uh, over in this little shack thing over here, food spawn, as well as chains and stuff like that underneath the cot. Sugar is vodka spawn in here. Next is one of my favorite places to loot is Sunken Village. You found bitcoins under there, Shallow. That's good to know. So apparently bitcoins and lions can spawn under there. I haven't found those yet, but I find a lot of gold chains there. Something to note, the scabs over here are, are godly. It's, they just seem to have god aim and the grass makes it incredibly difficult to see them while they can still see you. All right, so stuff spawns all over the place in here. It's good to check the floor. All right, so yeah, we just found an Alyanka here, a D fuel. Some money, uh, vodka, and other stuff spawn there. And you just got to check the ground in here. There's just stuff stuff everywhere in here. I've seen chains in here. Um, lots of stuff spawns in this room. I found fuel right here, the blue, the blue jug. Never found anything in this room or in this one. Um, food spawn in here and obviously sugar. Uh, next spot we're going to hit is this house. Stuff spawns in these bushes here. Look at that Veritas pick. And these bushes as well. We'll cut across. And we're going to hit marked circle. This part, you got to kind of look around the edges. I always find stuff like in the grass. Uh, but it looks like there's nothing this time, which is, that's fine. It's fine. It's all good. All right, I've never found anything right there, but there is stuff inside uh, this room. Food spawn here. I found chain underneath that bed before. Um, and then stuff spawns all over this desk. Under it, on top, in there. Like horses, chains. 
uh, food spawn right there. We're kind of striking out, guys. We're striking out. Another food spawn. This is like my favorite spot right here is inside this church. I found a few Bitcoins here. We just go in here. It looks like there's a chain. And a chain lit. Uh, if you're looking for streamer items, you can find uh, ravens in here. I think I found a pastilli mask in there one time. Good place to find those is right there. I've never found anything in this room, although I always check just to see. Usually hit this bag. Glad I did. Uh, stuff spawns in front of here. Food spawn, food spawn. I found a chain here as well. Uh, but sugar does spawn there decently often. <clears throat> this next house. Lots of stuff on the ground. In a really small area. Sometimes. So stuff spawns right there. Um, lions, chains, there's a horse there. You, you just got to look all over in these bushes because stuff spawns all over inside here. Chains, lions. I don't know if bitcoins can spawn in there, but usually when those types of things are in there, they do. There's a stash over here we'll hit and then we'll head off to village. A village. Oh, we haven't heard any shots, chat. So it seems like we're potentially here uh, by ourselves. All right, so now we are headed off to village, guys. This is to like the northeast that we're heading cur uh, currently. And we're gonna hit a stash on the way there and then we'll hit all the village. Then we'll hit old sawmill. We'll hit a bunch of stashes. We'll hit Emricon and we should kind of come back to sawmill. I didn't hit sawmill. We'll figure that out. And it pretty much will be good to go like right away, depending on how this, how this raid goes. All right. So there's a stash right here next to this car, car extract. We're right next to car at village. Now we're going to head into village. They're just OP. Oh. All right, we got a vodka. Um, I found sugar on this bench. Stuff spawns on the bed, obviously. I usually check these duffel bags. Uh, I find sugar on that on that little desk there sometimes. Um, I usually go around because I find keck tape, screws, bolts, stuff of that nature on all the all of these. There could be a chance of that stuff spawning. In here, I find D fuel pretty often. We got ibuprofen, milk. Uh, M scissors spawn in here. There we go. M scissors. Oh, is that D fuel? Yep, D fuel. Sometimes you gotta look in the hidden spots. Did we check the scav? Nope. Take your gun. All right, let's cross over. We'll have to check that scav here in a second as well. Uh, sugar spawns right here. Mechanical spawn. I usually hit this. There's usually some decent stuff in here. It's pretty decent. Uh, in here, this is where a Bitcoin can spawn. And something actually did spawn there. A gold chain. So, uh, I usually prone out to grab stuff right here. But Bitcoin con confirmed can spawn in there. Gold Lion also confirmed can spawn in there. 
Uh, I haven't found a GPU here, here yet, but I found Tetris's. And someone has told me that they've confirmed that that is a GPU spawn. I just haven't personally seen one. Um, sugar spawn in here all the time. Especially in this bowl right here. I don't know why, but that bowl is like a magic sugar bowl. Check our scab that we just killed. And again, lots of sugar inside this, uh, this building. Also, condensed milks, totally worth picking up. It's like 15k to therapist. And it's just a good, a good little money grab. No sugar. Uh, I found a filter right here one time. And LCDs and M scissors, stuff like that can spawn there. All right, so we hit this pretty good. Uh, I missed one spot to show you though. I just learned about this spot actually. It's up here and it's under the bed can spawn right there and then I, I don't know if anything spawns under this bed I haven't seen anything yet but who knows I wouldn't put it past it so I've just been kind of looking each time next we're gonna go hit old sawmill uh, and then we're gonna hit a bunch of stashes I think like five yeah like five stashes uh, and I'm actually gonna show you the plane the plane crash and stuff that spawns near there. Cool. Spawns right here. I found blue fuel right here one time. Just once, but it definitely does spawn there. All right, so the best way to find this one is to go to this log right here. This fat one. Move forward past two trees, then go right. These are the two trees I'm talking about. Once you pass these two trees, it's directly to the right. Uh, next, we'll hit old sawmill. I never really find anything too crazy here, but I find M scissors. Sometimes I'll find a silencer up on the top. Oh, there's some LCDs. Those are worth picking up. Uh, by the way, just to note, if you ever are looking for fuel, and you aren't sure if it's jug that you can pick up the green ones you can't pick up but the gray smaller ones that's the bigger fuel in the game uh those are the ones you can pick up it's not super common that you'll see them but they are there and it saves you time rather than having to look to see if it's one of the ones you can pick up stuff spawns here rarely stuff spawns here rarely um weapon parts up here Honestly, nothing usually too great in here. I sometimes, or a lot of the time, just completely pass it. <clears throat> I usually go in here. Vodka. Um, tech spawn on the ground all over in here. Tech spawns in here and on the floor. It's a good spot to check. Another stash over here at this extract. This one's kind of tricky sometimes because... Um, well, it tries to extract you. Oh, you've seen gray, uh, up at the top, Dario? Okay, apparently gray fuel can spawn there also. That's good to know. See, we're gonna have to fight this to get it. Let me see. Alright. Um, next up, because I want to hit sawmill. Just let her, if you're new and you're watching this video. So where this crash starts, you can find loot all the way to the end. Sugar, vodka, uh, medical stuff is a lot of what I find here. It's looking kind of dry. Milk. Um, stuff in here all the way, all the way into the top. Nothing really there right now. And we'll double back and we'll hit the stash that's right here. right where all these broken branches are <clears throat> still have lots of space left so we've got lots of stuff to grab still so now we're gonna go to sawmill this is where a lot of stuff happens a lot of good stuff so we kind of cleared this of Sturman earlier kind of 
Um, moonshine, sugar, spawn here in all three cabins. Jackets. Good stuff in the jackets. I always hit those. There's a sugar. Uh, food spawns here as well. I find sugar in here. Safe. We're up to five sugars. The most I've ever found in one raid is seven on this map. All right, and then we'll run south here. I've got a Sturman key, but I'm not going to use it just for the sake of the video. Uh, although, if, if I were to kill Sturman and open that, you pro it would probably add like five to 750,000 rubles. Well, no, let's say, let's say 250 to 750 because it depends on what ammo Sturman's got and if he's got a labs card on him. Um, so this is a, a violet key card spawn right here on the desk. Uh, also sugar, vodka, stuff like that can spawn up there. Um, I like to hit these two jackets here. These two right here. Uh, violet key card spawn right here. Lots of stuff spawns in here on the ground, uh, on the cabinets, all over the place. Batteries spawn in here pretty often. Stuff all stills decently. Those have decent shit in them. Um, and next place we're going to go is to Emricon. Alright, so here at the car, sugar can spawn here. Um, keys can spawn in the luggage. Never found anything in the back, but yeah, good stuff can spawn here. Alyanka bars. And good old Emricon. So now we're on the east side of the map. Jesus Christ, man. They just don't miss. They didn't miss a shot. All right. So now that we handle all that, uh, sugar spawn here. Duffel bag always got nice stuff. Um, sugar spawn over here. Lots of like morphine, stuff like that. Medical supplies in this area. Sugar spawn on the table, this table, on the ground right here, where this milk is at, uh, on this, bunch of spots. These crates have good stuff. I find ophthalmoscopes in these crates. Um, open loot on this area, that area, on this, right here, and then you go in here and you find golden stars. Uh, ophthalmoscopes can be in there. Sugar spawn. There we go. Augmenton. Augmenton. So what is that? Six sugars. We have six sugars this raid so far. Morphines. Uh, CMSs. Go I found one golden star in here before. So they can spawn in here. Uh, this one, just usually morphine is like the best thing I find in here. Morphine, golden star, actually I've never found an ophthalmoscope here, but grizzlies, uh, golden stars spawn on these racks. M scissors spawn up here. More sugar spawns right here on this table and on this chair. hit this real quick give us some more sugar all right so next place we're gonna go is we're gonna hit these last four stashes and we'll extract and we'll see how much we made we're making better time than last raid guys even with uh me missing shots and getting fucked up by uh scabs Still making better time than last raid, I think. Stash here. I know it. And guards. I've been finding labs cards on guards. Guys, we didn't get any fuel. We didn't get any moonshine. Nothing like big. No big ticket items, but we got lots of little stuff that's worth good money.